The Incredible Hulk Volume 2 number 83, which was published in 2005, witnessed the beginning of an interesting event which lasted till book number 86, in which Hulk fights and defeats the tyrant mutant government and its powerful leader Exodus in Australia. The book is a tie-in of the House of M storyline, in which Scarlet Witch suffered a mental breakdown and tried to alter the fabric of reality to recreate her lost children. Her father Magneto and her twin brother Quicksilver played major roles in the story. The House of M story replaced the Earth-616 as the main reality for a brief time until Scarlet Witch reverted to normal. The events of the storyline were later indicated to have taken place in an alternate reality. After months of living with an aborigine tribe in Australia, Bruce Banner has mastered their techniques of meditation and became a close friend. They call him now Two Minds. During a ritual ceremony, he is told that he is the snake totem, due to his dual nature. With the ceremony over, the tribe's leader called Gateway tells Banner that he is a step closer to becoming one of the true people. Suddenly, he stops the ceremony and asks Banner if he can feel what's coming their way. They can both sense the arrival of refugees who have been trying to escape the mutant oppressors. Suddenly, they find themselves under siege by mutants who have come to arrest the refugees. Watching this from the trees, Banner confronts Unos and his men, who laugh at the puny man, armed with only a boomerang who has come to stop them. Banner tosses the weapon, but it bounces off the mutant's force field. Unos then knocks Banner into a nearby pond where a swarm of crocodiles dive in after him. However, instead of being eaten alive, Banner turns into the Hulk and fights off the lizards and then lashes into the soldiers. The Hulk thunderclaps Unos and ruptures his eardrums before scattering the mutant forces. The Hulk's rampage is being watched by the leaders of the Australian mutant government. Exodus states that not even the Hulk can stop the march of evolution. Monica Rappaccini, the leader of the AIM, the human resistance movement against the mutant government, and her daughter Scorpion, meet the Hulk. They explain that the mutants plan to exterminate the human existence. Suddenly, Dr. Aaron Isaacs says that the mutants have taken his son. Monica tries to calm him down and says that the Hulk is on their side now. Later on, Banner meets Gateway who says that something is not right and that they are trapped in someone's dream time. The Hulk then decides to attack the mutant government in Sydney. The sonar scans of the mutant's base indicate that a blue whale is swimming in their direction, but they do not suspect anything unusual. In fact, the Hulk has been steering the whale, which has been covering the AIM submarine, on which the Hulk is standing. Monica Rappaccini is impressed with the Hulk's incredible power, while Dr. Isaacs is still concerned about the fate of his son. Meanwhile, at the mutant's base, Exodus tries to interrogate Adam Isaacs while he is being examined by his team of scientists. However, Adam refuses to tell him anything about what AIM and the Hulk are planning, out of loyalty to his father. Suddenly, the alarm goes off, and Exodus is informed that the blue whale they detected was a ruse, and a missile is now heading towards the government's building, but Exodus uses his eye blast to destroy it. However, the missile did not contain explosives, but notes that spread all over Sydney. The message is a warning to the mutant government to cease hostilities and meet to settle matters peacefully, or that AIM and Banner will attack. The mutant government agrees to meet. Monica believes that it's a trap by the mutants, but eventually sends Banner, Dr. Isaacs, and her daughter to the meeting, while she stays back. However, when Exodus sees that he will be meeting Banner and not the Hulk, he attempts to fry Banner's brain with his telepathic powers. Dr. Isaacs contacts his son and tells him to create a distraction. In the lab, Adam gets the message and reassembles himself and unleashes the full force of his weapons. The explosions distract Exodus enough to allow Banner to transform into the Hulk. 
Exodus knocks the Hulk away, but Hulk proves immune to his attack and easily tosses him from his balcony. With the mutant government overthrown, the Hulk asks who will fight him next. The people begin to chant the Hulk's name, which reminds me with the scene after Hulk defeated the Red King on planet Sakaar and became the new king. Australia has been liberated by the Hulk from the mutants, but things are not as they should be. A refugee named John is captured by two AIM soldiers. The abduction is watched by his girlfriend, who is hiding in the waters below, hoping that the Hulk will be able to rescue him. The following morning, Banner is in bed with Monica Rappaccini, where he expresses his concerns that being the Hulk may disturb his new rule as the leader of Australia. However, Monica eases Banner, who admits that he feels comfortable with her. Meanwhile, the girl who witnessed her boyfriend getting captured in the middle of the night tries to sneak into Sydney, only to get caught by the soldiers. Suddenly, Monica's daughter, the Scorpion, intervenes and orders the men to stand down. She takes the girl abroad her fishing boat, where she hears the girl's story and finds it strange. She decides to investigate, promising that she will do what she can to rescue her boyfriend, who has a tattoo of Captain America's shield on his arm. Later on, Scorpion takes Banner into the facility, where they take volunteers for scientific experiments. Banner doesn't like how shady the operation appears. Scorpion knocks out the clerk and begins looking around. Banner finds a hidden button that opens a secret passageway that leads them to a secret lab where they discover that AIM is making an army of cyborgs. The technicians, however, activate the alarm. Scorpion drops her disguise, and Banner turns into the Hulk, furious to see that this is going on without his knowledge. As the Scorpion is swarmed by cyborgs, she is attacked by one she recognizes as John, due to the tattoo of Captain America's shield on his arm. The Hulk scatters the cyborgs until Dr. Isaacs orders everyone to stand down. Isaacs tells the Hulk that this is an army of refugees, being built to fight mutants and take back the Earth for humanity. He also says that Monica approved this and insisted that it must be kept confidential. Monitoring this from her control room, Monica realizes that she is in trouble. With the Hulk about to retaliate, Monica contacts her daughter through an implant in her ear and tells her to say the word Dormus. Upon hearing this, the Hulk reverts back into Banner and falls asleep. Dr. Isaacs explains that Dormus is a French word which means sleep, saying that Monica managed to introduce a post-hypnotic suggestion into Banner's sleeping mind to take down the Hulk should he ever turn against AIM. Monica then orders the cyborgs to destroy Banner. Scorpion, however, tries to protect him, forcing Monica to order the army not to harm her daughter. Scorpion is overpowered, and the cyborgs open fire on Banner's sleeping body. However, Banner suddenly transforms into the Hulk and destroys the cyborgs. The Hulk tells Scorpion that while Banner sleeps, the Hulk never does, making her realize that the hypnotic suggestion only worked on Banner, and not the Hulk. Suddenly, a massive cyborg enters and knocks the Hulk through the ceiling out onto the streets. While the Hulk fights the cyborg, Scorpion recovers John, the man she came looking for on behalf of his girlfriend. Meanwhile, the Hulk manages to destroy the giant cyborg by ripping the Sydney Opera House out of its foundation and using it to crush the cyborg. In the aftermath of the battle, Banner meets with Monica and the other heads of state and demands answers as to what happened. Monica explains her side of the story, but her daughter does not buy it. However, Banner shocks them all when he orders every AIM operative except for Monica out of Australia and tells Monica to return the cyborgs to normal. Later on, while alone in his office, Banner is visited by the astral projection of Magneto, who assures him that the formal rulers of Australia have learned their lesson and offers Banner the opportunity to return to the Aborigines. 
Banner refuses, saying that he enjoys being in charge, and warns Magneto that if he attacks this country ever again, he will unleash the Hulk to destroy the mutants. So that was the story of the House of M. Hulk, who destroyed Exodus and his tyrant mutant government and became the ruler of Australia. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Thanks for watching and have a nice one.